I was so excited when I started watching Christmas on Candy Cane Lane because I had no idea Andrea Barber was in this until her name came up in the opening credits and from that point on I knew that there would be at least something about this film that I absolutely adored. This was released last year in 2022, directed by Christy Will Wolf, written by Tina Booth and Sheila Roberts and it stars, among others, Andrea Barber as Ivy and I have to say it's not too bad. The narrative it's a little bit slow in places, and to be honest, not that much happens, but it's very sentimental, it's very festive, and the characters are all really likeable, and there are some characters who are maybe not the nicest people, but I enjoyed watching their journey and their development. So it is a pretty good film. It focuses on Candy Cane Lane, which is in a place called Icicle Falls, which I have to say is a rather delightful name, and the residents have to have a certain standard of decorations every year and Ivy lives there with her daughter and part of it is about reminiscing as they've lost uh, Ivy's mother her daughter's grandmother and Ivy also runs the Christmas house which is a rather delightful festive store and part of it is about their relationship their family Ivy's relationship with her ex-husband and what it's like being separated but part of it is also about a rather disgruntled not very pleasant neighbour whose candy canes, giant candy canes that she has out on her lawn, seem to be, well, they seem to be getting rearranged every night. And part of it is a little mystery about who's doing it and why are they doing it. And I didn't work it out, so I like that. It wasn't completely predictable. I think it took a really interesting direction. And I was really pleased with the way that part of the narrative went. With regards to Ivy and her, her family situation, her relationship with her ex... I think that part of it was quite enjoyable as well. Maybe not the most realistic, but that being said, I thought it was pretty entertaining and I enjoyed it. So I can't really complain too much. So the narrative is fine. It's not the most gripping, thrilling narrative, but it's sweet and I enjoyed the journey and I found it to be very sentimental. And because the characters are all generally really likable, it, it helps to make it a little bit easier to become emotionally invested in the journey, even if it's not the most compelling journey of all time. It is very festive as well. The costumes are festive, the music is festive, obviously the decorations are very, very festive. So if you're looking for a film to get you in the Christmas spirit, then Christmas on Candy Cane Lane, I'd say, is going to do a pretty good job of that. I liked it. It's a good film. If we take Andrea Barber out of it, it's still a good film. But I will admit that I liked it just that little bit more because I love her. I think she's amazing. So that kind of helped raise the film a little bit. But, you know, even if we take her out, we remove my bias. I still think it's a good festive film with some really likable characters. But if you're looking for a film that's got a really juicy narrative that's maybe very sentimental, it, it, it's, it's sentimental, but I didn't cry, put it that way. And I cry quite easily at Christmas films. So I don't think it's one that's going to be too raw unless perhaps you can directly relate to certain situations but the narrative is still not too bad but I understand if somebody watches it and thinks maybe it's not the most exciting if you're looking for a very easy watch a very pleasant journey with some likable characters and a decent amount of Christmas then I'd say Christmas on Candy Cane Lane is one that's worth checking out I really enjoyed it partly because I love Andrea Barber but even that aside I'd say it's a pretty good film <laughs>